Hey, good morning YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Jeep and Exploring. Today we are up here in the Michigan Upper Peninsula getting ready to start our day up here. We're going to be up here for three days and we got Bond Falls behind us and we got all kinds of fun stuff we're going to see today. So all kinds of waterfalls, Bill Nichols Trail. So uh, stay with us and we're going to go show you this and show you all kinds of fun stuff today. So let's go check it out. When you think of packing up for an overlanding adventure, what's one of the places that comes to mind? Is it the Colorado Rockies, the Pacific Northwest, the Smoky Mountains, or even maybe the Ozarks? For me, an area that has struck my curiosity for a couple of years has been the Michigan Upper Peninsula. With over 300 waterfalls alone in the Upper Peninsula and miles of lakeshore that rivals any beach that you've been to, I knew that it was somewhere that I needed to get to. With this being our first stop no less than 20 minutes after crossing the state border out of Wisconsin, we knew that we had made the right call. In this series, you're going to experience beautiful waterfalls along with great overlooks of beautiful lakes and more lighthouses than you've ever seen in a lifetime. So this place is absolutely stunning if uh, this is the first stop up here and if this is what we're in treat for for the rest of the state it's going to be amazing to see you guys really make sure and follow along with us on this trip um, we're going to be up in this area three days and then making our way back and then uh, stopping in indiana and doing some off-road on the way back so make sure and uh, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification and uh, stay with us and see our journey.
right, we finally made it up here to Lake Superior and we are at uh, Eagle River Falls and behind me you got uh, Eagle River Museum there and then I'm not sure what that is off over in there but you got Lake Superior back in here behind me. We're going to walk over here and check out this cool bridge and uh, this awesome waterfall. what exactly this is but let's see Lake Superior back there almost looks like the ocean lots of waves and everything just like it yeah, let's go check out the waterfall oh yeah Awesome. I'd love to be able to get down there. Yeah, there's a trail that goes yeah, up over there. That's some cool structure. waterfall wasn't bad it was kind of pretty um we got another one here that we came up to called jacobs falls but right before we walk over to it we're here at a place called the jam pot um they make jams jellies bakery and what it is it's uh there's a monk monastery around here and this is how they make their living so um they sell all kinds of pastries and stuff like that so we're gonna go in and check them out and and see what they got to offer in here i've heard they got pretty good stuff there's a lot of videos on this place i've watched and it's a pretty popular place sometimes the line is waiting outside and around the building but we happen to be here during a weekday so we don't have to worry about that and that's a pretty good deal but we're gonna go see if we can give them a little bit of business and go check out this jacobs falls Oh, it smells good in here. Supposedly those cream cheese muffins are to die for. Everybody says they're amazing. The, the muffins, I don't know about the pound cake. Or whatever it is, it looks like a muffin. So this is Jacob's Falls. And it's just right up the road. This kind of goes to show you no matter where you live at unless you're in the middle of Kansas or something like that maybe a lot of times just getting out driving down the road you never know what you can see without having to you don't have to go down all these crazy trails four wheel drive and all that to see good stuff sometimes it's right off the pavement um, even down where we live there's just so much stuff that you just get out and drive around and amazing what you come across everybody always wants to know how do you find this stuff you get out and drive around get out of the house so anyway let's check let's finish checking this out and then we're going to get on up the road to camp
All right, we made a uh, another pit stop we didn't have planned, but we actually just drove right past it and had to stop. But it's a uh, Eagle Eagle Harbor Lighthouse. That's it. But it's right here on the beach and everything. And we hadn't had a chance to actually walk down to the water, so we're going to go do that and then check out this lighthouse. And then uh, we was going to go to the Overlook and do a sunset, but it's going to mess with our time. But So we're just going to from here go to the Overlook and check that out. Um, we've got plenty of other opportunities for sunsets and sunrises, so we're going to go check this out. And uh, man, this water is just crazy. It's, uh, it's hitting these rocks. It looks just like the ocean. I mean, it's just waiting for a well to come up out of here or something. But anyways, that's enough gabbing. Let me show you this. This is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that steamer. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, in <it>. 10 minutes. <laughs> The museum closed in 10 minutes, but he said we could walk around. I'll take pictures of the oh. White House. And... I don't want to go swimming. Let's go. I'm going to go swimming. Expert clothes. Uh huh. Yeah, that's absolutely incredible. Yeah, uh, I've only seen Lake Erie and a little bit of Lake Michigan, only driving by basically on the interstates. I've never got to really enjoy this close and this first time seeing Superior. But let's go, uh, let's go check out this lighthouse and stuff. It looks like it's pretty. I think we got several lighthouses this, this week we're going to check out. This being one of them. Here we go around. goes up there pretty good we got one see today is Wednesday we got one Thursday if uh, all works out right we can actually go in it and go up in the in the lighthouse forever I've not been to the Pacific Coast yet but I can imagine it might be similar to this I've only been to the Atlantic Coast and it ain't nothing like this well it might be in the Northeast the 1871 lighthouse
anyways yeah we're gonna mosey on out of here we're going to uh matter of fact i'll show you guys going for that overlook is right up there it's gonna overlook this so we're gonna go up there see what we got up there and i think we got one more lighthouse we're gonna have time to check out the day before we make our way to camp so stay with us and we'll see you up the road so we made to the top of this awesome overlook and this may be my besides the first waterfall my favorite part of the day i mean it just keeps going and then on this side you got a lake in between the mountains here I swear if you just, I know I said it earlier, but if you picked me up and dropped me off here and didn't tell me where I was, I think I was at the Pacific Northwest of the ocean or something like that. I've seen a lot of videos up here and a lot of pictures done my research coming up here, but none of that did any justice to what, what you actually see it for yourself. over here and checking out this lake yeah look at this set up camp right there oh it would be pretty windy got that lake off in the distance and then just of hills, mountains, whatever you want to call them. Massive drop off. Another lake way off in the distance. Probably can't pick that up. camp we are not camping by the river we're actually across or by the lake we're actually across the road but we came over here we're going to try to catch this sunset what i really want to do there's a lighthouse back over there i want to see I'm not sure if i can get my drone over there or not but i'm going to see if it'll reach that far there used to be a road that went to it, um, but it's blocked off now, so the only way to get to it is by water. But I'm going to see if I can fly over there and get a closer look at it. But this is just uh, beautiful. I mean, like I said, we came out here to try to catch a sunset. And then we're going to go back to camp and uh, cook some steaks and sit around the fire.
all right guys well that's going to do it for this video we're in the we stayed in the campground up here just so we'd have access to showers and stuff and there's not really a whole lot of dispersed camping in this area so um campgrounds is just easier up here we got those uh tonight and got one tomorrow night we're staying up here in the peninsula but uh we're going to disperse on a uh, drumming island um our last night up here in michigan before we start heading back south so anyways we appreciate you guys tuning in and uh we'll see you in the next video and as always keep exploring we'll see you next trip later